My name is Shane Yost. I've been skating for around about 14 years. Um, I'm originally from Tasmania, but I live here in Melbourne now. I'm just sitting here on the stool at the bar. In the old days, uh, I grew up in Launceston in Tasmania, um, notorious for all its hills and and the, uh, you know, the, the crazy hilly environment that, that surrounds sort of the main town. So I pretty much lived at the top, so you know, every, every time we went for a skate it was hill bombing all the way down to go to the skate park and then a trudge all the way back up again to go home. Um, it was a cool place to grow up in even though there wasn't much to skate. Uh, when I was there, I mean, we had an eight-foot cement vert ramp that was like 12 foot wide. And one of our favourite pastimes was jumping in the car at three o'clock in the morning and going to the the highest hills we could find and just bombing all the way down and then getting another car, skitching it the way back up up top again and then doing it again and seeing how fast we could go and seeing if we could find a steeper hill than the, than we just rode. So. Yeah, those are the days growing up in Tasmania. Just my passion was uh, going upside down several hundreds of feet in the air, well, like I'd like to believe. Um, and yeah, so vert for me, just it was just a natural thing. That's why I sort of moved away from skating everything and just focused on one thing so I could uh, see how far I could take it. And uh, it was just what I enjoyed the most. first started travelling, there were a lot of Australians around, there was a lot of guys, I mean, six places of the top ten uh, in street over uh, was taken up by Australians, which is just, I mean, that's that's just a phenomenal, phenomenal concept, um, but I mean, there was a lot of money in those days, you know, there was a lot of things going on, there was a lot more contests, there was a lot of things just, just happening, um, so there was a lot more opportunities. So, you know, there was a lot, a lot of chances for kids to get sponsored and go overseas. Nowadays, it's, it's very difficult for kids uh, to go over and, and, and qualify. Everything is based around turning pro through the ASA, um, you know, through the ASA ranks before you get any opportunities to be able to take it further. So for any aspiring kid or any guys that, you know, want to go to the next level, it's a very hard task because you've got to fund your airfares, accommodation, everything. Get yourself to America um, without the guarantee of actually turning pro in the first place. At the moment, it's, it's very difficult because there's just not the money there, there's not the, the backing. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a tough time. These days, being a pro is its very different from the ideal that people seem to believe that a pro should be. Um, kids these days have these crazy notions of pros, sitting around, smoking drugs, drinking alcohol, going to parties and just <coughs> being rock stars. But honestly, if you want that kind of lifestyle, go and become a musician because that's the only real place that you're going to be able to carry on like that. Our sport isn't strong enough um, and big enough anymore to be able to support that kind of that, that kind of craziness. And in some ways, that's that kind of attitude is what's led to our downfall. I've seen so many guys with so so much crazy talent, like Jaron Grobe and John Bergeron. That you know, where are they today? They lasted. They lasted all of you know two or three years where they just went nuts. And I mean, you can do it for a while, but in the end, it was the, you know, the lifestyle that killed them. I'm still out up there doing what I'm doing. You know, I'm one of the last ones left. 
uh, one of the last professionals left in Australia that's still getting paid to ride, still getting paid to travel, um, still doing shows, still doing all these things, and it's because I've taken it seriously and because I've treated it as a business, and that's where you can go. I'm 28, I've been doing this for 14 years now. Um, my job is a professional rollerblade, and it's because I've taken it seriously, and that's what you have to do. If, you, if that's the kind of job you want, that's the kind of career, that's what you need to do. You said you were sorry In whiskey and beer You know, from my opinion, man, it's, it's been an amazing journey. Um, I've been able to do what I love as a profession. And I mean, I came from a little place in Launceston, Tasmania, in the middle of nowhere. And it's just because... Um, you know, I liked it that much that I wanted to keep doing it and take it as far as I can. And it doesn't matter what you do or where you want to go, whatever profession it is, if you truly love it, just do it. Who cares? Like, stuff what anyone thinks about it. Just keep doing it. Have fun with it and see how far it can take you. Listen to 